Yeah, hello, I'm Retro Jules. A few days ago, or maybe the other week by the time this video comes out, who knows, I'd had a week off tanking. The update had come out about the mercenaries and I was a little bit sort of, do you know what, I think I'm going to play something else, actually. And I thought, I must get back to my tanking. And I made some posts on the club. The first day I had a go, I played six games and it was six defeats in a row. And I thought, bollocks to this, and went back to logging in the Siberian wilderness playing Mudrunner. Day two, I thought I'll have another go. I played five games and it was five defeats in a row. And I thought, bollocks to this, and went back to logging in the Siberian wilderness. Day three, and finally I got a victory. It took two games and two losses in a row, but the third game was a victory. And bearing in mind, this was like the third day and I thought, hurrah. And after that victory, this game happened and restored my faith in the game that I do really love. So to break my tank in gloom, it took the tier 10 Batchat and Prokhorovka. The Batchat that kind of does it all. It's a very effective scout. It's quite an effective sniper. It's got five shots, so if I miss, I've still got some more shots that I can fire off. Now I don't think that was my driving. I'd like to think that it was the light tank, but neither here nor there. And this game restored my love of World of Tanks, because I had a couple of rough days of defeats and just turned the game off in disgust. And it all happens in about six minutes. So I've done an original ridge pass and only spotted one tank and there's my second and I take a shot and a quarter of my health and it's obvious that the enemy are climbing the hill on the zero line so tail between my legs do another pass of the ridge and of course the bat chat's got a 400 meter view range it outspots most of the other light tanks apart from maybe the Rymantal which is probably where the bat chat is not quite being balanced with the new tier 10 light tanks because I don't really think it should have a longer view range than the light tanks. But then it's a very lightly armoured fast tank so then maybe it should because really the bat chat is kind of a light medium than anything else. So already picked up 8 assisted hits, 9. And I like to thank Artie when Artie's bringing in the shots home for me. Not only am I grateful for Artie doing a good job, it also encourages Artie to keep hitting the tanks that you're interested in. And we get our first kill. Hurrah. And I've also managed to get my reload in this tank down from 40 seconds down to about 37 with various crew skills and vents and what have you. And it was quite nice because the couple of days of tanking I'd had where the defeats just kept rolling in and I just got fed up were the teams falling apart. And it would appear that this game is actually not an exception. The only difference is, is I'm not on the team that's falling apart for a change. Easy unload and take out a baby waffle. Four tanks spotted, 11 assisted, six, seven damage ribbons, two tanks destroyed, two critical. Not even five minutes into the game and not ordinarily that would be like, that's a good solid result. I'm happy with that. So we're moving forward again 
as I'd found out the past few days. What's with all the triangles in the game just lately? It's just... Oh. You'll probably realise I'm not a fan of tank destroyers, and I could make a whole video about that, and I'm not going to go into that now. They're just not my favourite type of tank, and the games have been full of them. So we're going in for the T-49, but I'm very much aware there's a T-30 to my right, and just a quick cheeky auto-aim and a pullback gets me a kill, and also gets me out of trouble. And there's Artie, raining the shots in again. 15 assisted hits. And they're taking the T-30 out. I'm not even going to peer up because I reckon that T-30 is looking my way. There's the waffle. Oh, that shot goes low. One more in. That'll do. And get on a reload. And this game... Oh. You've got to enjoy games like this. It's got to be the right map. And there's Artie having a pop at me. And in my tier 10 medium, managed to spot the other half of the team. Very pleased with that. I think as you look at those ribbons, it's an ideal mix of what the bat chat can do and what a supporting medium stroke light can do. And it's been a long time since I played the Bat Chat. So it was really nice to have a game like this. I've been very much sticking to the tier 10 lights just lately. Probably missed a few opportunities there to just pop a couple of shots on the tanks up on the hill. But when you see the score, it doesn't really matter. This was my last reload. I don't do another reload after this. Easy shot on the E75. Tier 9 Batshat, take its cannon out. One shot left. I thought, there's no point in reloading. This game is going to be over easily in less than 37 seconds. One heavy left, and it's taken out. Seven tanks spotted, 21 assisted damage, 13 damage ribbons. How did we do overall? Well, 126,000 silver with submissions, 4,500 damage, over 6,500 assisted, an ace tanker, 5 tanks destroyed, and quite right, I think Retro should have come top in that one. That was a pleasing game, I had a big, big smile on my face, and it just restored my faith in the game. Although... I still don't like seeing these teams just falling apart. Even though for once I was on the right team, there's almost no satisfaction in it. I, I want those games where it's half and half and it's evenly matched and it's strategic and it's exciting. But this was a good game. It was quick and it was fun and it was very, very rewarding. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Keep safe, keep tanking. And I'll see you soon.